when are you looking at going back? Like, yeah, obviously, once again, there's a pandemic, there's border yeah. restrictions at the moment, but have they given you kind of a time frame of you going back now? Yeah, well, the gym's been operational for a month. Uh, so the fighters are back. There's fights going on in China. Um, I'm looking to get back probably in a month to six weeks. I have a visa for China. It's just a matter of sorting out... Um, sorry, I have a invitation letter to back to China. It's just a matter of sorting out the visa and, and getting a time to do that. Um, and then booking flights and getting back over. But obviously with you know, everything in storage over there and my wife and, and, and little baby. She's not in storage, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Um, she would kick my ass. <laughs> so I'll be heading back to China probably in the next you know, six weeks and, and definitely do a stint by myself over there. Um, but, you know, I want to get back to work. And, and then time. hopefully come back once the, uh, the, the diaper changes are finished, right? That's when you'll be coming back. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the moment, I'm. I need. I need an extra set of arms here. With the amount of nappies I'm bloody changing, but it's it's been a real good opportunity. You know, in light of the COVID and not being able to be at work and and coach, um, has given me time. You know, as as a dad and um, help out. You know, my wife and uh, you know, get up at two in the morning and have a screaming baby. <laughs> hey, you you had nine months to prepare yourself. So I know. I, know. I mean, but like again, I think that's. Or to do with the woman, you know, the, the hormones are happening with them. Everything's happening to them. You're just kind of standing there like a like a tit, like you know, until the until the baby's there screaming. It, it wasn't necessarily real, um, but yeah. But back on the on the China thing, I think I'll go back as, as soon as possible. Um, you know, obviously bring the wife and, and uh, baby over when when that's safe and when people can travel again. Um, but you know, the idea was to get as many people in the UFC as as possible out of the academy athletes. So I want to graduate them into the contender series and then into the UFC and not just get them there for one to two fights and then you know, they'd be cut. We want to get people in the UFC who are going to stay there, who are going to be names, who are going to kind of build the sport up for China and eventually the whole Asian region, um, you know, as, as the gym gets bigger and we recruit more and more athletes. So it's really the first of its kind um, in-house, you know, from go to woe in terms of bringing professionals in and, and keeping them there as stable of fighters and trying to get as many in the UFC as we can. Um, so my goal ultimately would be to have, you know, a champion come through, um, work with them myself and then get them to the UFC level as a champion. Um, but the company's goals again is, you know, making as many UFC fighters as we can and keep the sport growing.